Hello Capricorn, welcome into your reading from the 2nd until the 8th of May. That is going to be for the first week of May 2022. So we are going to look at what you need to see and what you need to hear, what events may be unfolding around you at this time for the first week of May, information that can be coming in or even messages from your spirit guides. Let's see what will come for you for this first week. Let's have a look what oracle cards will come out first. And then we're going to get tarot out for you. So finding sanctuary. Nice feeling of safety coming in here. Open up to your spiritual source. And then you have to let go. You have to get into the flow. Within the flow, everything is smooth sailing. So what I can tell you here with these two cards. There's a feeling of safety. That's the first energy that I picked up on. When I first um, turned that card, there's a feeling of safety here. There's a feeling of you being in the right place at the right time. Everything unfolding the way it is meant to be. Although I don't feel like your journey is yet completed. You found you've gotten your place yourself to a place where you're feeling safe. You're feeling like you're in the right place at the right time. You're creating the world that you want to create. Although in the weeks to come or months to come in your life, I can see you're not 100% sure about how everything else is going to unfold. And with the in your flow energy, it is literally showing you that you need to trust. You need to trust where everything is going because it seems to me that something is also out of your control here. Okay, so we've got the justice card coming up, Libra's energy in the upright position, five of wands, reverse position, six of pentacles, reverse position and the king of pentacles it also reverse it's about time you got that justice card there eight of pentacles upright position devil card there you are in the reverse position that is not how you like to feel the queen of cups and the ten of pentacles this has got something to do with like stability in your life or safety going back to that energy again why i'm saying that is because i'm seeing one two three four cards that are earth-based energy which is your sign and we've got the devil card in the reverse position as well so i am um, i kind of see there has been an unbalance with regards to something that is um related to either finances or career or even stability in a connection or love um what i'm picking up on here is because why i'm saying that is because the queen of cups is also in this reading in the reverse position along with um the five of wands here which is usually indicating you being in this energy of being satisfied right now with where you are i can pick up you feeling more stable than before with the eight of pentacles being there you might even be focusing a lot on work a lot on putting the effort into yourself which is very good but there's also a worry here attached to what is still coming in the future for you i kind of feel like you in the moment you're focusing on what you meant to be doing the whole week you're busy you're focusing on um finding stability in your life um working forward doing whatever you can do taking the steps on maybe um perfecting a skill of some sort or even studying further or just working really focusing on working uh but in the background in the background um it's like you have this little bit of constant worry that's with you because of what has occurred here in the past and I'm kind of feeling like this is what has occurred in the past here we're looking at the ten of pentacles the six of pentacles the king of pentacles and the queen of cups they're all in this reverse position and this is what most Capricorns do not like to see and this is what's making you get into your head like this really overthinking something to be honest to see the five of uh, wands being there attached to all of this energy here I feel like this is, can be something that has been happening even over a space of years where you haven't really felt the safety or the um, the strength that you want to be feeling because most Capricorns I know both my mom and dad are Capricorns so they do they really want to feel stable in their home financially if they have a relationship they want that relationship to be calm and stable um, they want to be able to 
uh, move forward in their life knowing that they've got surety or knowing that they've got stability way forward ahead. Uh, most Capricorns would, would love to have lots of insurances and all of these kinds of energies so that they can uh, move forward in their life in a place or in a direction where they feel safe. Future safety is usually always very important for Capricorns and this will la let you feel out of control in your life in some kind of way. If you don't have this all in the upright position, you're going to feel like the reverse devil energy, which is a feeling of you not being in alignment, a feeling of you being out of place in your life or fearful of the future, which is what you don't want to have. You want to know that the effort that you put in, and usually you guys can put an amazing effort into whatever you do. You want to know you get fair treatment back for whatever that is. Even if this is tied to a relationship, it is like you put so much effort into something, you put your, your energy into something to build it, to get to this 10 of pentacles, but it's not getting fairly given back to you. There's an unbalanced energy here of you giving so much of yourself and then somebody is not giving it back. So that's that unbalanced energy. It's very nice to see that the justice card is coming above this. I wanted to tell you if you are currently in a connection with a person. It looks to me in the first week of May, there's going to be a shift that is taking place in that connection. It looks like there's going to be somebody coming in here really starting to put effort towards making this um, to become into a balanced place, which I'm liking what I'm seeing. It looks like, especially with the in the flow energy, this is only if you are connecting to somebody already. I see you actually getting somebody coming in here and starting to do the right thing, starting to um, put the effort the way they meant to do it, which is going to start this journey forward a little bit more positive than what it has been. Very nice. I like what I'm seeing here. If you are worried about finances, here it comes. The effort that you have put, will put in and are putting in is finally going to start getting those results that you want, which is very, very positive. I see justice now starting to unfold in your face favor, which is going to be what starts to put your heart at ease, what starts to put your fear of lack of stability at ease, and you're going to start to see the results that you want here. So allow things to unfold the way they're meant to unfold moving forward. I feel like everything's going to fall into place as you're moving ahead, as long as you keep on putting the effort in. And um, if you are worried about finances at any time right now, I see you working very hard to fix that and it is going to unfold the way that you want it to. It will be positive. Same goes with regards to relationship as well. I see you um, having more balance being put back into a connection. That feeling or the fear that you're carrying of the lack of stability seems to be moving away in this first week, which is very good. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles coming in here, it almost shows me that there will be two people um, working very hard on trying to fix something, which is a very nice thing to pick up in this reading. If you are single by any chance, because um, some of you guys may be single out there, um, I see you at this moment in time, um, not really connecting to anyone this week, but I feel move ahead in your life, keep going forward, because this energy here, if you're single, it kind of reminds me of you being, if you're a single person, you're still single, like in this first week of May, but focus on yourself, focus on finding balance in your life, focus on working on your own energy and working on yourself, because there's a lot that you don't see that's still coming here. With regards to in the flow, everything is smooth sailing, especially if you're coming into this reading saying, and if I'm, am I going to find somebody who doesn't treat me this way? The answer would be yes. You are being taken somewhere still in your future where you are going to meet somebody who is aligning to your energy with a justice card. Could be a Libra or even a fellow Capricorn energy. Because in the Finding Sanctuary card, it is literally showing a lot of clouds around that tower. The tower would indicate where you are currently, the life that you've created for yourself and your experiences that you are having. There's clouds around this tower, which shows that there is a lot of information, a lot of events that are still going to unfold with regards to that specific question of, am I going to meet somebody? There is still something hidden to you there with the cloud coverage, but that cloud coverage is going to clear. And I do 
you think there is a relationship that's still waiting for you. So don't despair. Don't overthink it too much. Allow life to flow for you to take you where you're meant to be. There we go, my beautiful Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending love and light in your direction. Bye.